my wife dislike air conditioning and um, I like the outdoors. So it's quite natural that we wanted a very open space, a very kampung house kind of living. But we wanted a modern interpretation of it as well. So the brief to the architect was give us something that's very open, something that's very natural, organic, non-pretentious. The owner has been staying in Shanghai for many years. So they've sort of forgotten what the tropical architecture is all about. So when they come back, they actually wanted to experience that all over again. What's the joy, what's the delight, what's the romance of living in the tropics? We try to capture and create that experience for the homeowner. Hi. Hi, you? guys. We actually drive up, it still looks uh, quite prominent even though it's uh, quite dark. Exactly. I think what's nice also because like even the timber, remember when we first fixed it, it's kind of darkish brown, and now it's kind of weathered very nicely with the grey. So everything's developing on its own character. These structures are going out from the ground like trees. The columns that actually puncture through the upper story living is almost like a tree trunk coming up through your living spaces. It is on the stilt like the kampong house and goes with the trees very nicely. Rather than closing people off, we actually want community to come in, to flow in. When we were really young, we lived in a street where the neighbours knew each other. And our back door, it's always left open. I wanted that kind of relationship in this house as well. When we were designing, actually, um, at first we were talking about just having a spiral stairs going all the yes, way up. Yes. But eventually we changed it, and now we have a figure of eight, which I think makes the experience much more rich and makes it much more interesting than just having stairs stacked on top of each other. And also, like this table here, remember we cut to the same size as the airwell as well. So at a certain time of the day, the sunlight comes directly down, shining on this table. And I think that effect is wonderful. To us, the transitory space is also an asset that we can actually harness and make into something that is uh, exciting and interesting. That curved staircase, behind it, you also create in very interesting spaces, in the secondary spaces. The other side of the toilet, for instance, the negative side of that also is a curve. Then it changes the perspective of the toilet. The toilet now becomes a lot more interesting. You can see a lot of the use of the cement, raw concrete, you know, we left a lot of things exposed. But uh, some of them were planned, but some of them actually we came um, about when we realised that, oh, it looks pretty nice, like the ceiling here. Yeah, we didn't finish it. So I remember we are just peeling off the off from the plywood, and then we look at it and say, like, wow, it's actually quite nice, so we, we left it as it is. But then over time, you can see the rust colours of coming through, and I think it, it's really lovely. We said that we should add some timber screens on the exterior to mimic that kind of timber shutters, the timber panellings of the kampong house. But I think it turned out really well. And there's a good play of light and shadow during the afternoons. This layer creates another layer of privacy, so which is actually quite important because all the houses are so close to each other anyway.
within the house, we also collect art. But it's not just a decorative element, it's not a gallery, it's, it's a place that we celebrate our relationship with our friends. So the art that you see on the wall are photographers that are very close friends of ours. And the pottery as well, it's from Iskandar Jalil and we used to play sport and he teach us pottery and we had quite a long relationship. So besides his pottery are all his other students' work. Yeah, so we converted the study into a wardrobe space because we needed more space for storage. Yeah, I remember something very special about this artwork. This one shot by Jeff Ang. You can screen over it and actually start moving um, in, in your handphone. It's an interactive art and then you can see the, the effect of it. For me, it's a job very well done. To me, it's pretty spectacular. We want a place that's robust, that's solid, like our character as well. We want it kind of grounded, but at the same time, you know, very simple and um, keep it to the purest. Something that's got a deeper meaning and attachment emotionally um, to us. 